pretty interesting little horn. Bet not many of you have seen this. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this horn in just a bit, so stay tuned for this show and tell. Hey everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I hope you're having a fantastic day out there today, wherever you might be. Thanks again for your great support of the shop. We can't do it without you, and we're off to a roaring start here in 2021. Thank you very much. This little guy, this little guy is part of my collection. It's not for sale, but I wanted to show it to you today because it's so much fun. This is a DEG, or a D-E-G. Um, now, if you don't know the company DEG, uh, they're primarily they were offshoot of the, the Getzen company. It was another family member who started this company. And they had basically two divisions of that. They had their marching division, which a lot of people will know them as having these, you know, marching uh, mellophones and bugles, drum and bugle corps instruments, and they're quite good. Um, they also had a very small high-end pro division. Um, my friend Tony Scodwell uh, from Scodwell Trumpets helped with a, a fair amount of the design of these horns. I don't know exactly when, probably in the 1980s, uh, but this was, I think, their crown jewel. And I've had two of these. I foolishly sold one, and then uh, I would say sometime in the beginning part of 2020, um, I found one online and I snagged it up. So one of the few things that came that was good from 2020 was getting this horn. It's a short bell piccolo. As you can see, it's quite short. I wish I had my other piccolo. Uh, you might have seen uh, the video. I, I've done a few videos of my benchmark piccolo, um, which was uh, handmade here in the USA as well. That's a much more traditional long bell piccolo trumpet. So if I was playing in an orchestra, that's a great horn, or playing in a pit. But this horn I use primarily to improvise on because it's so short and fun and it has a color spectrum that I just very much desire while playing piccolo trumpet. A couple of cool things about it. You'll notice it has that similar to the Getz and Eternus wrap on the fourth valve. It's very different than the Getz and Eternas. The Getz and Eternas is a fine horn. It's like it's similar in my opinion to our where our doublers piccolo is. It's kind of like an entry level piccolo. This horn is a totally different beast. It has the Bauerfein valve block. So in some ways I I really dig that because Adams now owns Bauerfein. So you can see the Bauerfein valves in their nature. Older Bauerfein blocks always had their numbers stamped. So you can see one, two, three, and four there on this. Very, very tight wrap. Akin to like those Maurice Andre Selmers. The difference being is that Maurice Andre Selmer, while it had a beautiful tone, was not fun to play because it had such poor intonation. You could get it retrofitted with some Blackburn pipes or Osmond pipes and helped a bit, but it still was, as Randy Jackson would say, it was very pitchy dog, you know, very pitchy. Has that ergonomic valve lock, you can see that, which is in the right way. I think a lot of piccolos, you know, have it where um, they slant the other way and it's like, well, if you're gonna use your fourth valve, like, with your pinky, at least that makes sense. Um, but you could still wrap around quite easily and access it with your left hand. Um, trigger, that actually works. Look at that, slide trigger that works on the third slide. Now you could, these come up maybe once, twice, three times a year. They were very rare. I don't know how many made they made. Um, I would guess they made a hundred or so, a couple hundred, maybe. Um, I'd love to get an actual figure on that. So if somebody's watching this and knows that actual number, please let me know. Um, I've had two in the shop and both have been exquisite, great playing piccolo trumpets. Um, I'm using my Mount Vernon 3C on this. You can tune it either in the lead pipe, but it's also a tuning bell, which is cool. Cause you, so you could actually have the slide all the way in. Like I'll play it right now with the slide all the way in. And then I'm just gonna unscrew the bell a little bit and have it set up as a tuning bell. And that gives you a little bit more stability in the response. Um, 
and the pitch difference. Uh, let me see if I can swing over there. So now I've just done that where I pulled that out. It's a little bit more static in terms of the pitch. Oh, let me turn off my, I was gonna blast you away with that, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna turn down this mic, uh, it's completely raw. Here we go. And I'm using a deep mouthpiece for a piccolo. It's my Mount Vernon 3C. Let me get that into focus. It's not really what I would consider a piccolo mouthpiece, but with this horn, it works so lovely and it gives you a little bit fuller sound than you would have and not as strident as a normal piccolo. So if I was gonna play uh, Penny Lane, for instance, let me turn this mic back down. It has just beautiful fluidity. But I primarily don't play it in A. I'm showing you the A side because a lot of piccolo players will be more familiar with that, but I play it in B flat and use it as an improvising piccolo. Um, one of my heroes is Peter Evans, and if you haven't heard him play piccolo trumpet, it's out of this world. It's so amazingly beautiful. While piccolo trumpet's not primarily used as a, as a um, a vehicle for improvised music, uh, I think there's a, a unlimited untapped potential there. There's a few guys, Peter, um, Rex Richardson, of course, Lou Soloff used to do it, um, rest in peace, Lou. Um, but it's fun. So now I'm back in the B flat, it does have B flat and A pipes, and I'm gonna play a little bit in B flat. It's very different than the benchmark piccolo uh, in terms of that it has just this it's a much warmer sound uh, and I love that for that fact. but I won't bore you with going into some wild improvisations. But that is a quick tour of the DEG. I never even showed you the bell logo there, sorry. The DEG signature piccolo trumpet. Very cool, not for sale, but if you find one, snap it up because it is an awesome little piccolo. Thanks for watching this video. Please hit the subscribe button wherever you might be. Thank you so much for your great support of ACB. We cannot do it without you. Have an awesome day. Cheers.